Hi guys, my name is Jordan. I'm a freelance filmmaker and video editor and Premiere is freaking awesome. There's so many possibilities when you use it, including doing the same thing a bunch of different ways. Some ways are easier and some ways are way harder. And the harder way is typically the way I started out doing everything. So here today, I wanted to do the fifth installment of five things I wish I knew starting out in Premiere Pro. Here we go. Number one, link unlinked media. This problem is probably the one that's caused me the most pain over the years. Every single editor who's gone through this experience knows the feeling you get when you see this. It's not fun. So literally, when I was starting out and I saw this screen, I would just scrap my project and start over. I'm not joking, it upset me that much. But there's two simple solutions. Go over to one of the clips that's unlinked and then right click and choose Link Media. This will bring up your Link Media box. And if you know where your footage is, the process is simple. Choose Locate and then go through your computer and manually choose the piece of footage that's missing. Then when that's all said and done, as long as you have this box checked that says relink others automatically, Premiere will go through and find where everything else is in proportion to that clip. As long as everything kind of maintains its orientation, like clips are still in the same folders with each other where everything is just moved to another hard drive. But what happens if you actually don't remember where you put your footage? If that's the case, try these two things. Number one is to look at the file path here, and this will tell you the last place that your footage was located. It's it's possible that your footage just got unlinked accidentally and you just need to go back to this same location and link it up again. But if you're searching and you just can't find it to save your life, try this. Go to your file explorer or finder equivalent for Mac. Then click this PC and search this PC. If you're on a Mac, go to all my files and then search from there. Now type in any sort of signifying feature about your clips. So even if you know like part of the name of what you're looking for, you can still find it. It helps if beforehand you've named the folder that the clips are located in so that now you can type in even a partial search of what the name is and you'll get a result. Number two, the global effect switch. How the flip did I not talk about this sooner? I need to let you guys know that this wasn't my original idea to talk about this. Uh, Mika was here, was the person who left a comment and was like, hey, you haven't covered this yet. So thank you, it's long overdue. So normally what I do if I wanted to see the before and after of an effect that I'm using was to delete it. Then undo and redo to see the before and after. Or if I had a lot of heavy effects running on clips and it was slowing down my playback and making it jittery, then what I would do is, actually I didn't have a solution to that one. But there is a solution and it's called the global effect switch. Over here beside the effect of your clip is a little symbol labeled FX. Click it and your effect is disabled. Click it again to re-enable it. This helps so much. If you wanna get a quick before and after of what you've done or if you just wanna lighten up your workflow a bit, this is a lifesaver. Number three, link and unlink media. No, I'm actually not repeating myself. This linking and unlinking is different than the last one. When you go to move a clip in your timeline, both the audio and video move together. This is because they're linked. But there are times, for example, when I wanna stretch out a video, but not move the audio, or, or maybe I have a bunch of clips that are only for visuals and the audio doesn't matter, and they keep getting in the way or cutting out the audio that I do care about. Highlight the clips that you wanna have unlinked, then right click and choose unlink. Now you can move things independently, or just get rid of either the audio or video altogether. And to relink things is just the same. Highlight what you wanna be relinked and then right click and choose link. Number four, delete empty space. This one is embarrassing. Sometimes when you delete a clip, you get this gap in your timeline and you don't want a gap, you just want the next part of your video to continue where the last one left off. So what did I do? I would highlight everything to the right and bring it over and line it up perfectly with the stuff on the left. You know where this is going, you don't have to do that. If there's a true empty space from top to bottom on your timeline, you can click the empty space and hit delete. Yes, it's that simple. That's actually it. Just click and delete. I, I, pro I promise, that's it. And number five, the tilde key. Chances are, while you're editing your project, at some point in time, you're gonna wanna view it on a full screen. So to do that, you go to window and then full screen. What? Wait, where's the, where's the full screen button? Can't find it. Where's the full screen button? So with Premiere, getting something to a full screen mode is actually a little bit different. The way you do it is click on the window that you wanna go full screen to highlight it so that it has this border around it. Then hit the tilde key. This is what your tilde key looks like and it should be located here on your keyboard. Click it and boom, full screen. And it's not just to view your footage either. Choose any box in your workspace and hitting the tilde key will make it go full screen. It's an interesting choice for Premiere to do it this way because if you know to use the tilde key, it'll make your life really easy. But if you don't, it'll make you lose your freaking mind. And guys, that's it. That's another five things I wish I knew starting out in Premiere Pro. And this is the fifth video in the series so far, so I guess that's 25 things so far I really wish I knew starting out. I hope the video is helpful for you. If it was, consider giving a like or even subscribing. But if it wasn't, 
honestly, leave me a comment, let me know what I could do better, or maybe there's another topic you'd like me to cover in the future. I'd be honored to do so. But that's it for right now, so thank you so much for dropping by, and I hope to see you next time. Mm -hmm.